guys, I hope you're well. My name is Thomas Blakemore. I teach shop and sometimes triumph. This is going to be a teach video. In this video, I wanted to give you a little bit of a tour. A tour with a bit of a difference. Recently, due to events around the world, my school, along with many others, have closed. As a result, I've switched to an online distance learning platform. Now, that means that my home has ultimately become my classroom. So what I wanted to do is give you a bit of a look around and show you what that environment looks like, where I'm working and things that I've got set up to try and make me more comfortable within this environment because it's ultimately where I'm spending the whole day. So let's go so I can show you. So for the majority of you, this environment here will look familiar. If it's not and you're new to my YouTube channel, I usually make a range of teaching and traveling videos, so now is the time to subscribe to my channel to check those out. Make sure you hit the notification bell and you'll be alerted when I post. So, this environment has got a range of different things going on. I usually keep these set up nowadays for a couple of different reasons. This has gone from my YouTube environment to my teaching environment. By having these things set up, I can quickly put the camera on here to create any teaching videos that I want to create. I've put it in front of the TV, just down here, and the reason I've done that is just because I'm trying to not have as much time on the TV. I do have a speaker just down here that's pretty decent, just so that I can fill room with some sound and not have to listen to things on my earphones. So, here are my two lights, and they're quite bright, and they just sort of do the job. I wanted to show you down in this area, just down here, so that I can show you all the different bits and pieces that I have going on around here and then ultimately give you a bit of a tour of my main working area. So this is the main area you'll be familiar with and this is usually how my YouTube videos look. Range of different things going on here. Now this is my main laptop and I like to isolate myself a little bit when I'm working because otherwise I find distractions really easily. So this is the main laptop and my Mac Pro here that I usually work on. That opens up and I face the wall. I'm like a naughty kid at school. That helps me not be distracted, basically. So I have that here. The majority of the things then, I've got my camera here, just in case I feel like vlogging and things if I'm doing my week in the life of a teacher videos. This here, I know I usually set this up here, but what I have been trying to do a little bit more is change things up with this. And I'll show you that when I look inside this drawer. So inside here, there's a few different things. These are letters, and then I can change the letters on here so that if I'm filming a video for my children, my year three children, I could put something like read more books or uh, do more doing, just a range of different captions and phrases that I can put onto here just as a bit of a background to make it a bit more engaging. So there's a range of different emojis and a range of different letters. What else is in here? This is my, yeah, I have a little personalized Teach Travel Triumph case. Inside here is just a range of different things for my MacBook. That's mainly my hard drive and dongles, things that I use to make my YouTube videos and videos for school, basically. Inside here as well, I have a little pair of wired earbuds that just plug into there, again, helping me not get so distracted. Additional things. Additional things, I've got a spare SD card, but I've not really used that yet. I've also got a range of different hard drives still, spare hard drives just in case, and lots of charging cables in case I need to charge things like my phone or camera just quickly. Now, this is something else that I've had under here. This is a teaching favorite at the moment. I've brought these back from class when I first went into school earlier on this week. I brought these back. These are some of my favorite pens to use. Uh, got a range of different colors that we can use. Got them on the wrong way. And they're really good for when you're just trying to quickly give some feedback to send a video to a child. So that's why underneath my desk, I then have a whiteboard so that I can quickly write on any key information. And then I can just quickly change between different colors and show teaching as and when I need to. Underneath here, I also have this. This is just a really cool mug uh, that the girlfriend bought me and a range of different pens. I don't put that on my desk though, because I 
find it gets cluttered and I look at shiny things and get distracted again. There's a theme going on here. Obviously, water is an essential, so that's pretty obvious. So, just down here we've got a couple of things going on in terms of power. I've got USB ports here if I need to charge things up, which links up to the cables that I've got in my desk. These are little conversion bricks. For some reason my lights are only US, so that's just does that to purpose. More USB if I need it. That's a Type-C, so if I need to have that as a power brick instead of that, then I've got it. I don't really need to do that though. So, good little extension cable and always good to have. This is a working environment that could be used but doesn't get used uh, because essentially that's a building site. So, it's very loud and disruptive if I'm working outside, which is a shame, but hey-ho. So, this is the messy area, kind of. Now, I usually put things away in the bedroom, but because all of the things here are work-related, I'm really trying to have a bit of a split between bedroom and working room so that the two don't get merged, and otherwise I'll find it difficult to, to have those two different environments, basically. So in here, we've got lots of different things, so just different children's books. And one thing I wish I'd done is take more children's books home so that I was able to read things basically. So I've got a couple of books that I'm going to do read-alongs for, might even put them in, on this channel, but who knows. Uh, hit like if you, you feel like that's something that could be beneficial. We've got the obvious hand sanitizer that was in my bag from school. This is working environment number two. This is the MacBook Air that I used. Usually I just sort of have this area as a sprawl area. Any admin work that I need to get done sort of happens here. I have my other space in the corner just there for like creative things, making videos, uh, things that need to get uploaded. Usually I can do all of my children responding to feedback and stuff over in that section so that I'm just locked in in the zone. This is where I get creative with lessons, lesson planning, all those different bits and pieces. Any, to be fair, ideas for videos, things like that, that happens here so I can just sprawl out different things. It becomes quite a hectic zone for ideas. A little notepad, this is from Kate Chase Pipe Life. Bit of a sprawl. So the main disadvantage of having this area here is that I'm facing the fridge right in front of me. So because I'm home learning now, snacks are readily available. Usually at school I limit the amount of snacks by just simply not taking them to school, but it's not possible here at home, so I need to have a strong willpower at this desk, which happens now and again. So here I am, looking forward towards the fridge. I need to take my lunch. And this is the problem. It's far too easy to just get things out. The other problem, the other problem is that underneath here is a huge cupboard full of sweets from Britain. So obviously this is a sofa. I don't really spend much time here working. The time that I do spend here is during the meetings. I found out that during the daytime, the lighting here isn't as weird as it probably is on this video. And as a result, there's a decent lighting, so people who are having meetings with me can actually see me. If I'm in the corner, the YouTube corner facing the wall, the, the lighting's a bit funny, so don't really have meetings there. So it's quite nice as well, if a, a meeting is going on for an hour, it's nice to have that comfortable seating available. The other thing I've got on the desk here that I'm going to show you now is, yeah, it's quite interesting. One of the difficulties I'm finding with home learning is the amount of screen time that I'm having at the moment. Obviously, from eight until three, I'm usually on some sort of screen, whether it be phone for emails or laptop of some sort. I'm on a screen, so having something available that's non-screen related is fantastic. On the desk, you will see a puzzle. I've never done a puzzle before, but it's a 500 piece puzzle. I find it quite therapeutic in a strange way to pick up a puzzle and just try and get pieces of the puzzle in. It's just a nice little break. In addition to that, I've also started reading the 80-20 principle, but having a book available, again, is a really nice little brain break. It's also quite good because it's non-screen related. One massive perk of being at home is coffee. Thankfully I have a coffee machine just here and that pretty much marks the end of the tour. So that marks the end of my home learning classroom tour, if you like. One thing I'd like to do is ask a question. What does your home learning environment look like? Whether you're a teacher or a parent, I'm always fascinated to know that. Hopefully you found something useful in this video and Hopefully you've taken something away and liked it. If you do, feel free to like the video, it's always appreciated. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any content. Make sure you hit the notification bell to be alerted when I post new videos. I usually make a range of teaching and traveling videos so you'll be able to see them within my channel. I hope to make more YouTube videos from this environment. 
to really help people going through school closure at the moment and to give a range of different tips to parents, children and teachers out there. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one but for now I'm out.